guys. It is now the, the next morning. Uh, it was kind of a late night last night. Had a lot of fun yesterday. Just an uh, amazing place to be. Uh, the camaraderie, the people, just awesome. We're gonna head back to the airport tonight, late tonight, and jump on a plane five o'clock in the morning. And uh, we'll do one more wrap up video uh, back at home here uh, and close this thing out. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. As soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake. Either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face. We put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change. Pick up the pace. We put in infinite work. That's why we stay getting paid. Y'all running. Uh, the whole reason I kind of switched it up is originally I had this hill being second. But Nick can contest uh, that the other night and the past couple nights we got a lot of rain and that top was damn near impossible. So yeah, I it changed. Was funny watching him struggle last night. Oh yeah, even I struggled. That top section was slipperier than water hazard soaked. But uh, I re moved it to being hill free just so uh, hopefully it has a little more time to dry out. I did try it this morning and I went up it pretty smooth. So hopefully it goes pretty good for everybody. Uh, everybody that didn't watch the hill building video, this is a brand new hill. It used to be Easy Street. Uh, Easy Street was just as old as the series pretty much. Uh, it was one of the first hills I built and uh, I just thought it was time to change it so I ended up rebuilding the whole hill. Hill 3, uh, we came back and uh, it was going to be the OG Street and uh which was used to be easy street a bunch of rock going up it nothing too crazy but there is some wood at the top and some log crossings at the top there which made it a very good challenge for some of the buggies to try to jump over once they were um, once they lost all the momentum getting to it i think it was one of the faster few times i was getting a little bit more comfortable by the end the nervousness was starting to wear off a little bit Picture of my truck failing. <laughs> <laughs> well, me failing to drive my truck. Everybody wants to watch. Oh, so. All right, all right. We're gonna go back live for. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure about those yeah, yeah, no. oh, yeah. Do you not have to take them? Huh? I'm gonna explain it before I run it for you guys. The main route. If you do not want to take the bonus line, for those once again that watch the hill building, I added a little side pass. I kind of trail bounced on it for a little while. Had some fun and decided to make it into a kind of section for you guys. So, Dark Ace obviously down there. Main route. You're going up the bypass to the halfway point. Coming down. Main Mountain. All the way. This is part of Main Mountain. All the way down. And all the way up to step your game up. Up bypass Oh, yep. the original yep. Down. Game. All the way up. You uh -huh. have to go up your game now. Yeah. That was the first time for everything. Yep. Line this is, the is starting out of the start gate. Instead of going the bypass, you're hitting step your game up twice. So you're going to the wall, going up, around, down, up, all the way up, step your game up. So you can do it twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it twice if you want to. Well, once you do it, you're not happy. Do it at once. Let's see if it's twice. So four was probably my favorite as we uh, as we rounded out the day. Step your game up hill. I was very interested to run that hill and see other guys, other buggies and whatnot hit the, that 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 type of wall and, and jump and, and uh, yeah. So you had the option to get a bonus points for running the step your game uphill twice. You would basically go up, come back down around one side, hit it again, and then continue on out the top. Or you could just hit it once and then run a bypass out to the top. And uh, yeah, I, I thought, well, the points don't really matter for me. But again, I'm there to, to have fun. I'm there to send it, and we're gonna we're gonna have, we're gonna That's do a that. Winner. And uh, hit it twice. You know, not do too bad on that. I think it was the fastest time on that hill, which couldn't be happier about that. Uh, the top there was kind of hard to see, the buggy with the sun coming over the, the hill, and the hill is dark itself, so I kind of just 
sent it, and uh, yeah, we got a little lucky at the top. She stayed flat, stayed straight, continued jumping and driving straight out the top. Hey, we're gonna start awards. situation. I thought I was going to have a decent chance at, at getting halfway, three quarters of the way up, maybe even to the top of that hill. But uh, we tried everything we could. We, we tried left side, center, right side, everything. I feel like I hit it every different way possible, and the buggy would not just take it. And uh, no worries, no big deal. Uh, we have made it back home to Kansas City now. As you can see there, we, we actually managed a full second place. I uh, couldn't be happy with that. Uh, very, very awesome to, uh, to be able to end up on the podium, let alone in second, uh, middle of the podium. Uh, right there, some tight racing there for between first and second place. I was only actually down in one second overall time uh, from first place from Derek and Dome. So, yeah, very, very good racing there. I really enjoyed that. Uh, what we have here is my buggy. Um, kind, of, kind of blown out sway bar arm there. That external head bolt there, I basically just put a little too much torque on it between, or no, after all the racing, and uh, we'll just replace that, no big deal. Uh, as you can see, my shocks are still uh, super loose, set up super loose for in the bag. That's kind of the way I transported it. Just seems to change springs that way, uh, make them last a lot longer as far as not having to be compressed for basically 24 hours at a time sitting in the bag. Uh, as far as the travels go, we, uh, we did get stopped here in Kansas City. They wanted to check to make sure my tools were within spec, within that seven inch range. They, they were totally cool with that. They actually let me go through the bag and kind of show them what, what was going on there, no big deal. Although on the way back, it was a little interesting as a guy told me that I should not have any tools whatsoever, uh, but they did not care to even go through my bag or anything, they just let me go. Other than that, we just have a little bit of wear in the knuckles um, on the buggy here. We have some, some play in it, some steering links, no big deal. I might replace a knuckle or two, but maybe a steering link or two. Everything still seems pretty tight. Can't really shake anything too much. We've got a little play in that rear, nothing, nothing bad. Uh, shocks are all tight, everything is good there. we got our beads still on the tires. Uh, as you guys may or may not have seen, second, second hill was interesting on that. And uh, so yeah, we, we're back into it. Getting ready to go back to a week and a half. We got racing in Rush Springs, Missouri. We're just gonna do some bolt checks, a couple of part replacements, no big deal. Um, it's kind of like this right here. Um, some Lincolns for sure, nothing too crazy. And then after that, we have finals in uh, Rush in uh, Mid America Off Road Park in Oklahoma, October thirty first. So the week, the year is not over yet. We just have a little bit more things to do here. But coming back home from there. Just uh, want to go through it, make sure it all is lubed up and cleaned so that it can go sit on the shelf without rust. Because we did get a little bit of water on a couple of those hills and want to make sure we hit the, the lubrication spots that we had mentioned before. We have the season almost over, but we do have a couple of national races to go and uh, we'll get into those bolt checks. Uh, they're on my own there, no big deal. And we'll take care of that next week as we enter the, the following week at nationals. And then again at finals and down in Oklahoma after that in October. So I hope to see some of you guys down in there. And otherwise, this has been a blast. And I truly enjoy it. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Curtis. Everybody, everybody out there. It was a blast. Thank you. All right, y'all. I am back from New Hampshire, back down here in Tampa. Uh, I had an absolute blast. And before I wrap this little series up, I want to give some heartfelt thank yous to the folks that really helped make this series go down. 
AJ from Super Shafty, I want to give a huge shout out to you uh, and the entire Super Shafty family. Uh, I, I know that crawling is more your speed, uh, but I appreciate you looking to RC Rock Bouncing uh, and helping to grow that side of uh, our hobby. I want to give a huge shout out to the Ramsey family for uh, not only feeding me this past weekend with the, the hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill. I, I, I can't express to you enough how important that is for folks like me who are usually working these events and a lot of the times uh, I don't remember to eat. Thank you uh, also the Ramsey family for loaning me your son uh, for the day. Um, Colton was a huge help and I could tell that he was into it, really genuinely enthused about it. And uh, I really believe in giving chances like that to kids who might choose uh, videography or, or the race scene um, as their career. So huge shout out to you, Colton. Uh, chase your dreams, man. Don't, don't ever give up. Don't let off the gas because uh, you, you can do it. I promise you that. Uh, Russ Driscoll also helped man the camera for a little while there, so I want to give a huge shout out to him and really all of the drivers who uh, were uh, accepting of, of me um, coming up there and, and hanging out with you guys. Uh, that It is a very close-knit group up there, and, and I'm not saying that outsiders aren't welcome, but, uh, but I, I'm grateful that I was welcomed in with um, as much love as, as I did receive. I want to thank Curtis Hazard for putting on an amazing series, an amazing uh, uh, event. I, I just wish that I could have made more this year. But if I had to make one, I'm glad that I made finals. And um, you have my support, always, uh, as always, Curtis. Uh, I have a lot of respect for you, uh, a lot of respect for what you've done for the sport. Your presence is felt. Uh, every day i promise you that i promise you that so i want to thank uh, my cohort with this series uh matt higgins from kansas city and outbound rc uh, matt you not only bailed me out with uh, filming some of this series so i could focus on other projects and other things that i needed to but you also took care of me while i was at the races um, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that y'all won't get to see in these videos is Matt was Johnny on the spot when it came time to uh, getting my buggy ready for me to run, kind of keeping an eye on not only what where he was at in the run in the lineup, but where I was too. So you know he was focusing on you know hitting the hills and racing his race, but he was also focused on getting me ready to go. Uh, and taking care of my buggy um, during the race and even before that as well. Uh, again, a lot of the stuff that, that you're not going to see behind the scenes is Matt was in my hotel room, you know, middle of the night, the night before the race, helping to get my buggy ready to go while I was hacking away at keyboards, uh, putting videos together for y'all. So, huge shout out to Matt Higgins. Uh, I have, I have, um, Great respect for you, sir, and I really can't wait to see what you do with the RC Rock Bouncer scene in Kansas City uh, because I believe that you have the drive, I believe that you have the passion, the know-how, and so on, and you have uh, my support 100% as well. So uh, thank you all around to everybody that helped make this uh, trip and this series possible, and I'm uh, really looking forward to the next one. RC Command leads the way.